The title of today's devotional is Finding Strength in Times of Weakness Through Faith and Perseverance. We will be praying for you, so watch to the end to get a special blessing upon your life. We would also like you to introduce yourself and place your prayer request in the comment so we can specifically bring your needs before God in prayer. And subscribe, it's free. This will help you to get more of our videos. Let's begin. In the journey of life, we often encounter moments of weakness, times when we feel powerless, overwhelmed, and uncertain. However, it is during these very moments that we have the opportunity to discover a strength that transcends our human limitations. Through faith and perseverance, we can find the resilience to endure, the courage to face adversity, and the hope to carry on. In this devotional, we will explore how we can draw strength from our weaknesses, guided by the wisdom of scriptures and the power of prayer. In our culture, vulnerability is often viewed as a weakness to be avoided at all costs. Yet the truth is that vulnerability is the gateway to strength. When we acknowledge our weaknesses and vulnerabilities, we open ourselves up to growth and transformation. As the Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. In our moments of weakness, let us embrace vulnerability as an opportunity for God's power to be made manifest in our lives. True strength is not found in self-reliance or in our ability to control every aspect of our lives. Rather, it is found in surrender, surrendering our fears, our doubts, and our struggles to a higher power. As we relinquish control and trust in God's plan, we discover a strength that is beyond our own understanding. Psalm 46 1 reminds us God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. In moments of weakness, let us surrender our burdens to God, knowing that He is our source of strength and refuge. Faith is the anchor that sustains us in the midst of life's storms. It is the unwavering belief that, no matter how dire our circumstances may seem, God is still in control and His promises remain true. Hebrews 11 1 tells us, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Even when we cannot see the way forward, let us persevere in faith, trusting that God is working all things together for our good. Throughout history, there have been countless individuals who have exemplified strength in times of weakness through their unwavering faith and perseverance. From the courage of Esther to the steadfastness of Job, their stories serve as inspiration for us to remain steadfast in our own faith journey. Hebrews 12, 1-2 encourages us, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. May we draw inspiration from the heroes of faith who have gone before us, knowing that we are not alone in our struggles. In times of weakness, prayer is our lifeline to God, a direct line of communication that allows us to pour out our hearts and receive His strength and guidance in return. Philippians 4, 6-7 reminds us, Do not be anxious about anything but in every situation. By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let us not underestimate the power of prayer to sustain us in our moments of weakness. As we journey through life, we will inevitably face moments of weakness. Yet it is in these very moments that we have the opportunity to discover a strength that is beyond ourselves, a strength that comes from faith and perseverance, from surrender and trust. May we embrace vulnerability, persevere in faith, and draw inspiration from the heroes of faith who have gone before us. And may we never underestimate the power of prayer to sustain us in our times of need. Let us pray. In our society, weakness is often viewed as something to be ashamed of, a flaw to be hidden away. However, when we embrace our weaknesses and vulnerabilities, we open ourselves up to the transformative power of God's grace. 
It is in our moments of weakness that God's strength is most clearly revealed. As the Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 12.10, For when I am weak, then I am strong. When we allow God to work through our weaknesses, He can turn them into sources of strength and blessing. In the midst of our weakness, it can be difficult to see any purpose or meaning behind our struggles. Yet, God often uses our pain and suffering to shape us into the people He created us to be. Romans 5, 3-4 reminds us, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. In our moments of weakness, let us cling to the hope that God is working all things together for our good, even when we cannot see it. We were never meant to journey through life alone. In times of weakness, it is important to lean on the support of others, to seek strength and encouragement from our brothers and sisters in faith. Ecclesiastes 4, 9, 10 tells us, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Let us not be afraid to reach out for help when we are struggling, knowing that we are stronger together than we are apart. When we are in the midst of weakness and despair, it can feel as though there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Yet even in our darkest moments, God offers us hope, a hope that transcends our circumstances and sustains us through the storm. Psalm 34, 18 assures us, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. As we journey through the valley of darkness, let us hold fast to the hope that God is with us guiding us through to the other side. As we reflect on the journey of finding strength in times of weakness, let us remember that our hope is not in our abilities or circumstances, but in the unfailing love and faithfulness of God. Isaiah 40, 31 promises, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. May we find renewed strength and courage in the knowledge that God is with us, both now and forevermore. In times of weakness, pride can be a barrier to seeking help and finding strength. However, humility opens the door to receiving God's grace and the support of others. Proverbs 11.2 teaches us, When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. Let us humble ourselves before God and others, recognizing our need for His strength and the assistance of those around us. Weakness often comes in the form of brokenness, broken relationships, broken dreams, broken spirits. Yet God specializes in restoration. Isaiah 61.3 proclaims, To bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. In our moments of brokenness, let us turn to God, trusting in His ability to heal and restore us. Failure is a universal experience, yet it is often in our failures that we find the greatest opportunities for growth and transformation. Rather than allowing failure to define us, let us view it as a stepping stone on the path to success. Proverbs 24.16 reminds us, For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. May we learn from our failures, trusting that God can turn our weaknesses into strengths. Change can be unsettling and uncomfortable, particularly when it forces us to confront our weaknesses. However, it is often through change that we experience the most growth. Isaiah 43, 19 declares, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. As we navigate times of change, let us trust in God's guidance and embrace the opportunities for growth and renewal that He provides. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity, to persevere in the face of challenges and setbacks. It is a quality that is developed through faith, perseverance, and a steadfast trust in God's plan. James 1-2-4 encourages us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, Whenever you face trials of many kinds, 
because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. May we cultivate resilience in our lives, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. Now we will pray for you. Please open up your heart, activate your faith, and listen for the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, in our moments of weakness, we come before you, acknowledging our need for your strength and guidance. Thank you for the strength that you provide in our moments of weakness. Help us to embrace our vulnerabilities and surrender them to you, knowing that your power is made perfect in our weakness. Grant us the courage to persevere in faith, finding hope and purpose during our struggles. Surround us with a community of love and support so that we may lean on one another in times of need. And may we always hold fast to the hope that you offer us, knowing that you are with us both now and forevermore. Help us to embrace vulnerability as an opportunity for your power to be made manifest in our lives. Grant us the courage to surrender our fears and doubts to you, knowing that you are our refuge and strength in times of trouble. Strengthen our faith, Lord, that we may persevere in the face of adversity, trusting in your unfailing love and promises. And as we journey forward, may we draw inspiration from the heroes of faith who have gone before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Bless all those who came for prayer. Bless their families and help them. Send your holy angels with healing power to all those who visit Lee Nicola and moments of inspiration. Believers in Jesus' mighty name, we pray.